Now, the certified most accurate forecast from First Alert Meteorologist Jessica Dobson. Well, let's get you started with another update on the tropics because we do have multiple areas we are tracking this morning and one of those being Hurricane Sam, which is a category two storm this morning. We have another update that's going to be rolling in from the National Hurricane Center here shortly, but it has sustained winds of about 110 miles per hour and it's really expected to strengthen. It's expected to go over a rapid intensification, which means it's going to strengthen very quickly here over the this, you know, next couple of days throughout this weekend and it's going to be strengthening. Likely it's going to make a run for a category four hurricane as we take you through early this week and it's going to last through about Thursday of this week as well. Now still a little too early to tell. I mean we are talking about a week or two out from any sort of impacts to the United States, but here in the Carolinas that will be one that we are going to for sure be watching as we take you throughout these next few weeks. Now as far as subtropical storm uh, Teresa goes, Teresa is going to continue to kind of meander, fall apart across Port portions of the eastern Atlantic as we take you throughout the next couple of days. Now, as far as what we're seeing here across uh, the Grand Strand, a beautiful start to our morning. Lots of people taking advantage of that cool, crisp start we've seen so far today, and we're looking at temperatures warming only into the low 80s throughout this afternoon. It's going to be a beautiful day, upper 70s for some areas of the beaches, especially once we do factor in uh, the fact that we have that sea breeze going to be helping to keep things on the cooler side today. And Here's our setup right now. We have high pressure in place. We saw that cold front work through last week, and that is what's helped to set us up with this beautiful weather. We have this large area of high pressure helping to usher in winds from the north and keep us nice high and dry as we take you throughout the next couple of days. So as far as tomorrow's forecast goes, we are looking at lots of sunshine. Once again, temperatures warming into the upper 70s and low 80s. It's going to be another rinse and repeat day, and there is no shortage of things going on all across the Grand Strand, the PD, so you won't have to worry about the forecast really even throughout the, most of this week. We do start to creep back into the humid range. Maybe by Tuesday, Wednesday, we start to see temperatures climb back into the middle 80s. But all in all, a really nice looking forecast this week's looking mostly dry too. It's rain free so far and hopefully we can keep it that way. Beautiful weather on tap as we take you throughout the next several days. We're looking at highs warming into the middle 80s by about Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we'll see another cold front work through the area that will help to bring down temperatures back into the upper 70s and the low 80s towards the end of next week. So hopefully this means fall like weather is going to be sticking around a little bit longer. Don't love the 50s this morning. I got to say I'm not a fan of the 50s, but I'll take the 60s. I'm just being picky and dramatic per usual. I know, picky. <laughs> I know we can only say so much because we have been wanting. We have been wanting more opportunities to drink yes. our pumpkin spice lattes, maybe a little bit of hot cider, fall weather, you yes. know, soup weather, soup weather, weather all of it. the weather. <laughs> yeah, I know we've already got our um, candy corn. And oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, fall, everything's pumpkin. <laughs> fall for me starts on September 1st, regardless oh, of yeah. weather. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, for sure. No, I'm here for it.